Hello and welcome everyone. Today is gonna be quite a different video. Um, in the Zaldi spirit, what I want to do today is share my story of how I got into Heroes of Mana Magic series as well as into streaming. Um, the story starts when I was really, really little, okay? I was like a five, six year old, I had a younger, I mean, an older sister and an older brother. And we had a computer, like a really, really old one back in the days. And my sister and my brother would play Heroes of Might and Magic 2 on that computer. I was barely able to look over the countertop to see the actual game. Um, I didn't play it like until I was a little bit older to actually understand how to use a computer properly. Uh, but it was a really, really nostalgic experience. And this screen, this menu, is so nostalgic to me that it's a very, very day that, you know, whenever I look at it, I, you know, I feel, I feel emotion, okay? Uh, I love the screen a lot, and I love Heroes of Mad Magic 2. It's what got me into the series, and it's still the thing that I feel most nostalgic about. Um, a little bit later, I got into Heroes of Mad Magic 3, but back when I was little, I didn't really play it a lot. Heroes of Mana Magic 2 was still the best game for me, more so than Heroes of Mana Magic 3. Um, you know, that's not the case for many people, but that's how it was for me. Um, afterwards, I had a really long, cold period where I didn't really do anything Heroes of Mana Magic 3 related. Mm, pretty much at all, okay? It was like over 10, year, uh, over 10 years of doing nothing. Then, um, later, I thought, hey... I'm gonna be starting streaming. I stream some modern games with, you know, you know, having my few friends show show up, uh, but not uh, really anything special. But I really wanted to get more seriously into streaming, so I thought of a really cool series to go for, okay? I called it the Nostalgia Trip. And you know what was the first on the list for me to play on the Nostalgia Trip? Yes, you guessed it. It was Heroes of Mind and Magic 2. The Succession Wars. I play, played through the Roland campaign. Um, I played through the Archibald campaign. I loved every single moment of it, honestly. It was a ton of fun. I was streaming to like um, a handful of people. Um, it was like single digits. I remember Potom and Harry were early joiners, though they might have joined during the Heroes Mounted three days already. Um, so yes. After I was done with the nostalgia trip of Heroes of Mind Magic 2, it was really making sense to do the campaign of Heroes of Mind Magic 3 as well. So that's what I moved on to do, okay? And I played through every single campaign. I was like a really big noob. I used uh, my one hero. I moved around. I used a lot of saves. I got demolished many times. It was a ton of fun playing through the campaign. And um, it was almost like a blind playthrough because I didn't remember most of it. Uh, from the old days, because I didn't really get invested into Heroes of Magic, Magic 3 um, that much. And, you know, after I was done with the campaign, it made a lot of sense to try PvP. I was already building, like, a little bit of a following during that time in my streaming career. It was around the start of summer 2018. There were, like, a few people coming around already, but I didn't really that have much of a following. But a few people were like, hey, people play this game online. You play through the campaign, you know, maybe you want to try this out online too. And so I did. And I'm still at the phase of my nostalgia trip of trying the game out, trying the online version out, okay? Um, so yeah, as I played online, I got the better, more people noticed me. I'm really emotional when it comes to this kind of game. And it's honestly a ton of fun. I really, really enjoyed my my experience from being like a complete, complete noob to being actually somewhat decent. Today, I'm actually standing in the top 100 of the lobby. Currently, I'm literally 100 guy. Uh, my peak was actually about top 40 at some point, uh, but then I dropped and I gained some more points. You know, that's how it goes. Um, laddering is a ton of fun, I gained new rivals, I gained friends, um, and it was a really good experience overall. So, yes, maybe the nostalgia trip will continue one day. <laughs> and I will go past the stage of still just trying online out of Heroes of Mana Magic 3. Mm, but until I'm satisfied, until I'm the best and conquer every single tournament, 
I will still play Heroes 3 Online because it's honestly a ton of fun and it's what I really enjoy doing. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this little story time. I hope you guys have a great holidays and um, yeah, I'll catch you live on Twitch since that's my main platform still. So, tell my next stream. See you!